Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Free Website Code YouTube channel. Today we are going to share a full stack online food ordering management system project by using raw PSP and MySQL. So here you see that our project overview where we place a hero section and some food menus item. So you can view this menu item by clicking the view button and here you also have a add to cart option where you can increase the product quantity and decrease the product quantity also so this project we are going to share with you today on this video tutorial we are going to show you how to run this project on your local server by using XAMPP and also we will show how to run this project on online on your hosting so let's jump on how to run this project on your jam localhost server so here is the project files here you see the project all file coding and images and also a database file which is food.sql so these two file and folder will be shared with you on youtube video description you can go to the, our website and easily can download file from our website to run this project on your localhost server, first of all, you should run your jamp first. So I am going to run my jamp and start Apache and MySQL option. Next task is you just copy the folder. And place it on your jamp stdocs folder okay after copy paste complete then you go to your php my admin localhost php my admin and create a database for it just type the database name which is i name it food tutorial and click to the create button after database is created then you need to import the database which is we already give give it to you so go to import option and choose the file and then simply click to import after successfully complete the import of database then on htdocs foot order folder this folder you should open your visual studio code by to opening visual studio code you just typing code space full stop and your visual studio will be open then uh, we successfully create database and importing database file then we need to connect this database with our files so here you go to admin folder and then you will find dbconnect.psp here you put your database name you already created that is food tutorial so my default php my admin username is root and password is blank so no need to change it 
then you just click save then you just browse the project food order nice you just see that our project is live on localhost server we can browse this project let's add to cart a menu to check this project is working or not and just randomly select some menu food to add to cart so cart is complete and let's click to process to check out so to complete this process we need to create an account or login here let's fill up the account information this email is already exist so i at different email okay my account creation is completed now i am going to confirm and place the order okay successfully place the order and just here click to log out log out from my account to check this order we need to log in on our admin portal so to log in admin portal you just click you just browse your website slash admin our admin username was admin one two three four five six click to login up login button so here is our admin dashboard on admin dashboard we see welcome to administrator messages and then here is order option as we check that our recent order was abidul islam shown demo at gmail.com the his phone number and click to view order so here is the order details you just click to confirm and our order is successfully confirmed and here's lots of options like menus you can add to different types of menus and you can click to edit those menus here change the images also here's the category list you can add different categories just like milk ice cream all all you can add and delete it here and and there is admin user option and next is site setting here you can change your site name admin email admin information and images also so here's our all the project and we run this project on jamp localhost server now we are going to upload this project on hosting so let's go and check this how we can upload this project on first of all we are going to log in our cpanel on cpanel we are going to add a subdomain Food order. Just click to create our subdomain. Create is completed.
so let's create database go to the mysql database widget or mysql database both are same i'm going to name a database which is food click to next so on step 2 we create a database also food creating the database user and give this user all privileges and click to make change so now we successfully created database and created user then we need to add this database to the same user here you select the database which was food and then database user which was also Foot. and we simply add this database to this user here you can see that our database name and database user is privileged next we go to php myadmin and import the database file to the hosting click to databases php myadmin So here is our PSP might mean on online hosting. Our database was food. And then again simply click to import. On import option we choose the, our file and click to go. So we successfully imported our database files. So next work is to upload this all folder and files, coding files to our hosting. Here on file manager, you click to file manager. Here you go to your created subdomain folder, food order. In this folder, you need to upload your files. I am going to zip this file for uploading. When GP is complete, click to upload option, select the GIF file,
so here's our upload 100% is completed after completing upload you will get the zip file and then you should extract it here no need to zip file then move all your file to the main subdomain folder so now we need to edit our database connection PSP file there is db underscore connect dot PSP let's edit this file and here you place your database name Here you place your database name, database, username, and database password. Click to save changes. After database connect is complete, simply go to URL and browse the application food ordering management system you see now we can log in to our admin portal So we successfully log in our admin dashboard and we can browse our orders, our local host order. So thank you everyone. So if you need any website related service, you can browse our website service.freewebsitecode.com where you can get website design and development service any design to wordpress website customization search engine marketing and and some of our works so thank you everyone see you again on next video tutorial